How's it going there YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about something that I recently learned how to do and actually do better I should say is we're going to show you how to pull your own official firmware images should I say specifically boot, recovery and system so that if you ever need to restore your device you do some kind of hard brick you can do it on your own very easily. This is going to be kind of more of an advanced video for those more a little bit more advanced users but I hope you guys enjoy it let's go do this alright so let's show you how to pull the firmware on your device so there's gonna be some prerequisites and some things we're gonna to have to do to do this um, and I'll show you what we're gonna to have to download so what we're gonna to to do is you're gonna to to have to have the Android SDK which you can see I have right here um, on your computer installed and go to your platform tool folder because you need these files right here right there those four those are your ADB and your fastboot files so you can give ADB and fastboot commands that's what you're gonna need um, you're also gonna need some other things so let me show you those this is my server site if you need your ADB fastboot files you can download this full file right here um, extract it to your desktop and you're good to go All right. Now, besides that, you're also going to need the Twerp recovery for your specific device. So you're going to have to have a device that probably has an unlocked bootloader to do this. You can do it other ways, but the method I'm going to show, that's what we're talking about. So we're going to use Twerp recovery. Um, I'm going to actually do this on my LG G Watch. Um, so, like for me, I would come in here and I think there's a Twerp recovery in here. Yeah, right here's one that I can use. So download that wherever you get your Twerp recovery from. And then you're probably going to want a couple other programs here. So you're going to want, this is Notepad++, which I like to use um, to view files for uh, text files. And then you're also going to need this right here, Android Device System Information Zip. And this is going to pull your partition information so we can pull the correct images. All right, so just download all those files. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's go back to the other screen. All right, here we go. So this is my ADB Fastboot folder. Right here is the Android device system information zip. This is actually put together by a guy, uh, Matt Groff, and um, it just pulls a lot of information for you, which is really nice. So you're gonna go ahead and open it up. I use 7-zip to extract all of my files. So here is 7-zip, and just extract it right into your ADB Fastboot folder. And basically it leaves you this and this. These are actually the ADB Fastboot tools. It's just, they're just in another folder. And then you basically have a batch file. So pretty simple, nothing too, too fancy here. Now from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your LG G Watch right here. This is what I got. You can take whatever device has an unlocked bootloader. It doesn't matter as long as it has a custom recovery. We can do this. So I'm gonna put it on my dock. You can see it's right here. Pretty simple, right? All right. So now we're going to hold shift, right click, open a command window here. And we're going to type in some commands. So first, ADB devices to make sure that ADB is working on your device. So for ADB to function correctly, you have to turn on developer options. If you don't know how to do that, you're probably not even going to worry about figuring out how to restore your firmware because that's like super basic, easy stuff. I'm not even going to go over it. So make sure ADB is turned on. You got your drivers, everything installed, all that's functional. So from here, we're going to go to ADB, also reboot, um, also a unlock bootloader, obviously. So ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter. This is going to boot our device, whatever device it may be, into bootloader mode. So now we should have fast boot functioning. So we're going to do fast boot devices, if I can type right, boot devices. There we go. And it should come back with the number and say fast boot. That means your fast boot is functioning correctly and you can now give fast boot commands. So from here we're going to type in fast boot boot space and then we're going to drag our twerp recovery from wherever we have it. Mine's over here somewhere. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Right here and just paste it, it's, it's highlighted here, you see the little plus button there, and just drop it in. 
So I have fast boot, boot, and then exactly where my open recovery torque image is at. And I just drag it right in there and should be good. From here, what this is gonna do is it's gonna fast boot, boot recovery. It's not gonna install it. It's not gonna flash it. It's just gonna boot it on the device. So let's go ahead and run this. So what it does is it downloads it, the boot image, to the device, and now boots up Torp Recovery. So mm -hmm. my watch right now, I'm going to take it off the dock here, mm -hmm. and you can see that. It's got Torp Recovery on it. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to run a new command, ADB Devices again. And now we have the number, and it says device, but we are in recovery. And the beautiful thing about doing this this way is that this ADB, and when you type in ADB shell, if I can do it right, it starts ADB shell as root. So it allows you to run root privilege commands from this ADB shell. That's pretty much the trick in pulling your firmware. Before we do that, we need to find out what firmware to pull. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to exit that. So exit. We don't want to be in ADB shell. We just want to be in the command line. And again, you could do ADB devices if you want. So we're connected. It's good. And we're on recovery. We're going to run this little batch file right here. So we're just going to click on it. And it says waiting for a device to read. And that's it. Hit any key and it exits. And what you're ended up with is this right here, this more information. So we're going to open this up. It just pulled all this information from your device, for me specifically, the LG G Watch. And what you're going to come into is I think we want the MSM partition. So, yes, that's what we want. You can see it right here. I opened it up. Right there it is. And we're going to look to get some dev block numbers. All right. So the dev block numbers we're going to need are the boot. Let's see if I can find them here. So we want recovery because we're going to back up recovery. So you want that number 16. Then you're going to want to know system because we're going to back up system. You want that one. And then where is boot at? Oh, there's boot. And then you want this one right here, number 15. Now, I've already went ahead and got these numbers and actually put them into the, the command we're going to give here in our ADB shell. But this is basically how you grab them. And this will work on any device and it'll pull them. So you'll now know your dev block numbers, whatever they are. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to take them and we're going to put them in this format. I'll show you. Yeah, right here. All right, so here it is. So see this same number right here? Dev block blank blank 15 and then it equals boot. So this is the command you're going to put in. It's dd if equals dev block, the number of equals SD card, whatever you want to call the boot image, and so on down the line. So basically for your device, you're going to only part of the code you're going to edit here in this little piece is this, whatever the dev block designation number is, what they call the partition, if you want to call it that. And then you can call the file, whatever you want over here, I'll make them exactly boot instead of these numbers. This is just the build number so I can keep them track of them. So these are the three you want for this device. Those are the numbers. It's very simple. All right. Hopefully you're still tracking with me. So from here we're going to open ADB shell. Hit enter. And again, we're going to come back and it's going to be with ADB shell with root privileges. And it's pretty simple from here. If you want to pull this, you just copy this text. I'll give you links to all this so you'll see all the text. You'll be able to, you don't have to worry about seeing my screen and writing this down. And I'm going to paste one in here. And that's that DD if text. And it's going to pull my boot image to my SD card on my device. So we'll hit enter. And it did it. So I'm going to do the same thing with recovery. Copy. Paste. Enter. All right, and then I'll do the last one with system. Now, some systems are pretty big. This is a small system file because it's on a watch. It's only like, oh, shoot. How big is this thing? It's about 250 megabytes. I'm actually not going to pull it right this minute just because it's going to take some time, and it's the same exact process. 
So we're just going to exit this now, exit, enter, and then we're going to go ahead and do some ADB pulls. And I'm just going to pull the boot and the recovery because they're easy, fast files to do. So again, here they are. Let me take off the build number. I just put it on the end of them normally. And all you got to do is type this in, ADB pulls. Oh, I got to undo that. Edit, undo. Here we go. I got to copy that. Copy. So it's, it's basically ADB pulls slash SD card slash boot image. Paste it. Hit enter, and you're going to see up here that there is going to become a boot image right there. Let's see. Yeah, boot image finished. Right there's your boot image. You have an official boot image from your LG G Watch or whatever device you're on. Same thing again with recovery. Copy, paste, and it's going to do the exact same thing. You're going to see recovery coming up here in your folder there we go where's recovery recovery image boom you created your official boot and recovery images it's the exact same thing for system so basically when i create a restore tool this is what i'm doing um, i'm booting twerp getting adb shell with root access without actually rooting the device and then i'm pulling my firmware images pretty simple again let me show you this uh more information mount partition this is the file you really want to pay attention to right here and get all your dev blocks it's this number so you're just changing that in this in the little copy paste stuff i do and you're you're rocking it it's pretty simple you're just changing that that line right here whatever it is the rest of this code all stays the same and you're changing that based on the partition of your device there you go guys hope this was informative for you hope you now are able to pull the official boot recovery and um, system images for your unlocked bootloader devices that have functional twerp. If you have root access, you can do the same thing without booting twerp, but I like doing it this way. It gives you full system images that aren't rooted. There you go. Hope you guys like it. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, really appreciate that. I uh, hope this was informative for you. I hope you maybe pick something up, a new trick in watching this little video. Now, by no means do I claim to be some kind of expert or developer by any means on this. I'm just showing you some things that I've learned and there may even be other ways and maybe even easier ways to pull this firmware from your device, but this works for me and I really like using it. So please, if you like this, you wanna see more of these kind of videos, go ahead, comment down below, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you'd like to see and hopefully I can do some more videos on that. That's about all for me today. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. I really appreciate it. It really helps me more than you guys know. Um, really great encouragement to see those thumbs up and subscribe button clicks. That's about all for me today. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.